Hey Travis with T-Customs Productions, T-Customs.com. Today we're answering another follower's question. This was a comment that was left on one of the recent videos that I dropped on the channel. I first just want to say thanks to everybody who's been sending over your questions, whether you've been driving a comment on the videos, you've been emailing me, social media messages, specifically those of you who sent over video questions. Those are really great. Those will definitely take priority when going on the channel. So if you want to send those video questions over, you can send them to ask at tcustoms.com. Just a quick reminder. But getting into today's topic, this came in from Young D on the how to keep your creative edge as a beat maker video. He says, dope video, what kind of things do you practice to increase your creativity in a session? I always try to eat something and or take a brief walk before I make a beat. And so this is a good question. There's a lot of things that you can kind of do, develop your own ritual, I think, over a period of time. But I'll give you a few tips that have worked for me and they kind of tie in with what you've said here already. Any kind of physical activity is going to be really great to stimulate your blood flow, your brain activity, just your energy and everything overall. So definitely something that's going to help stimulate your creativity when you're working on a session. Physical activity can vary depending on what you personally like to do, whether you like to walk, run, jog, ride your bike, or even do like weight training. What I find myself doing and really enjoying more than just physical training and like weight training is taking a minimum of like a 30 minute walk, 45 minute, maybe even upwards of an hour, maybe even mix some jogging in there, plug in my headphones, many times listen to some sort of personal development or marketing or some other kind of audio book that's not necessarily music and for a good portion of that I like to actually focus on breathing exercise basically just like deep breathing and there's certain patterns that you can do to bring up your energy stimulate your blood flow and all those kind of things so that's definitely something other than like weight training or like a home workout that I really enjoy and I find really makes me a lot more productive and creative when I'm working on my sessions you mentioned eating something right before the session I mean definitely food if you haven't eaten definitely having some sort of calories or energy if you're hungry while you're working on your track it might have more adverse effects than actually helping with that creativity. Definitely making sure you've eaten a considerable amount of time beforehand. I wouldn't say you necessarily have to eat right before you work on a track or whatever, but definitely that you can also experiment with different types of foods. There are some suggestions you can look up online depending on your diet and lifestyle and what kind of stuff you like. You may try integrating some different types of foods and even drinks into your diet. One other thing that I try to practice, even when I'm not necessarily listening to samples, but when I'm listening to music, not the traditional hip hop or soul or stuff that I normally listen to, but I'll try to go outside the box and listen to stuff specifically that I don't normally listen to. It might be a little change of pace, but as far as creativity, maybe bringing something new to your sessions, listening to stuff outside the box might help you bring new elements into the production that you're working on. I've also known people to use you know, smoking as a tool, not necessarily that they smoke every day on a regular basis. I'm not going to say that I'm condoning that or I'm a proponent of that, but it's getting you maybe in a different state than you would normally be in. Music has a history of rock musicians and hip-hop artists and jazz musicians that have used certain drugs to get them in a certain state help them to create something they wouldn't normally create the interesting thing about getting yourself into a certain state of mind or in a certain zone I guess you could call it is that you may not ever be able to recapture that same time again another thing that I would encourage you is when you are working on your session and you have this creativity flowing get in a habit of using your record button and that way if you're in the zone you're working on a chord progression or a melody play it once and then you can't recreate it just because you were in that certain state if you have it recorded you'll be able to go back to it you may even find yourself coming up with a really crazy chord progression and then going back and maybe sampling yourself later or a track that you're working on. Again, I would encourage you if you're looking for other ways to kind of get the creative juices flowing, you might also search online. There's a lot of great articles to help stimulate your creativity. So use these tips to develop your own kind of system of what works best for you. I hope this was helpful. If it was, please take a second to click the like button. Drop a comment below. Again, if you have a suggestion for an upcoming video. Young D, I hope this answered your question. I'll also make sure to link the how to keep your creative edge as a beat maker video in the description as well as some other supporting videos and submit your music for the next live music showcase and review in the description. Also, check out the site for free drum samples, instrumentals, mixing and mastering service, and a lot of other valuable resources for up-and-coming producers and artists. Thanks again. I will see you in the next video. Peace.